Hi guys! Today I'm going to tell you my hair story. I think it's been one of your most frequent requests through the entire time I've been making videos, but for some reason I just... I didn't find the time or wasn't motivated enough to do it, I don't know. But from now on I'll be talking to you more often and I think I'll start from telling you my hair story. So basically, if someone would have ever told me that I'll become a hair guru, oh my god, with thousands of people subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would think they're crazy because, well, I don't know if you can tell it, but my hair is super thin and when I was a teenager I had no idea what to do with it. So basically my mom, she taught me to do three hairstyles that I knew and mastered really well. It was a fishtail braid, a four strand braid and, uh, you know, big voluminous teasing in the crown of your hair. Oh, I was so proud of my hairstyling skills, but that was pretty much everything I knew about hairstyling. And um, I'm lying actually, I came up with one more hair curling technique when I was a teenager. I had this special thing to put your hair into a bun. You put your hair into the hole, then you roll it um, all the way up to your roots. You connect the ends to secure it in place and you get a very nice roundish bun. And one day I actually happened to apply it on slightly dampened hair. So when I took off this thing, oh my god, I got those voluminous uh, curls, you know, lots of volume. My hair used to be even longer, so I was like, wow. And um, that was my secret. No one in the school knew how to do this. I think once one girl, you know, the competitor from another class, she actually spied on me because, you know, we had very, very high humidity where I lived and uh, the curls wouldn't ever last. So what I would do, I would sleep on my dampened hair and with this bun at the back of my head. It wasn't uncomfortable, I was fine with it. And then I would go to school and only in school I would remove this thing of my hair and then, you know, everyone would see my beautiful curls. So. I think this girl, she saw me doing this and started doing the same thing. Hmm. But other than that, I knew nothing at all about hairstyling. And even though my hair was super thin, super flat, and uh, didn't look anything what I would want it to look like, I still secretly dreamt about gorgeous, big, voluminous hairstyles, long curls, thick braids, all those sort of things, yet there was no resources to learn the techniques to put your hair into nice hairstyles whatsoever. So basically, I was dreaming, 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 but it was just dreaming, nothing was happening. One day I decided to start modeling. And to my great surprise, all the offers I was receiving were not for some photo modeling or catwalk modeling, it was for hair modeling. So basically, I became a very popular hair model. Well, popular, I was working with very, very many hair salons, uh, with companies like L'Oreal, Vella, and uh, it was really great because every time I would go for some training, I would be sitting there all day long, they would be showing some hairstyles on me, and I would be learning new things because I don't know why other girls didn't seem any interested in learning this information, but I was like, yes, so what do we do next? Okay, so we twist and then we pull and then we attach, you know, all sorts of things. I was just like looking so carefully what they were doing to my hair. And the thing is that I was studying in Italy, so all this modeling was going on in Italy, but I didn't speak Italian yet, so I just had to figure out what's going on. So the first thing I learned was how to curl your hair properly and uh, how to put its various uh, curly abdo hairstyles. So. I was so happy, my god, it was exactly what I was dreaming about because um, that's when the fashion started for all the, you know, soft, slightly messy abdus and learning how to do them was just a dream coming true. So that's how it started. I didn't know anything about YouTube beauty community yet, I was just, you know, enjoying my hairstyling skills and um, eventually I discovered hair extensions. Oh my god, that was the dream coming true part two because my hair is like so thin, so thin, so thin. I keep on complaining about it all the time so you can see how thin it is. So yeah, imagine I can grow it. People say, why don't you grow it? Um, stop wearing extensions, but okay. Imagine this kind of a braid going all the way down to my waist, like seriously? 
So I basically keep my hair just past my shoulders. I just cut it myself a couple of days ago because the ends were all the way down to here and they were so sweet. Oh my God, oh my God, I just cut them and immediately felt like my hair looks much more beautiful. But I was talking about hair extensions. So ever since I discovered hair extensions, oh my God, my obsession with hair became 100% real because I could try, you know, all sorts of braids, half abdos, because usually if I put my hair into a half abdo, if I take all this hair and do something with it, I feel like here there is nothing left. So it's nice to have some hair extensions for that extra length and volume. And of course for braiding, because I, a moment ago I've shown you just how thin my hair is. And uh, there's not much of nice things you can do with it when your hair is that thin. So I started using hair extensions and I started experimenting. So everything I would see on TV, on magazines, uh, on some red carpets, celebrities, I would always try to recreate it. And since I was uh, attending those trainings, working as a hair model, I was constantly learning new and new hairstyling techniques. So after some time I figured out that even the most complex hairstyles can be divided into very simple steps. So if you know the basic hairstyling techniques, you can combine them all together to create much more complex looks. And then my new hobby was to decode complex hairstyles and to, you know, look pretty wearing them whenever I go out. So I was regularly checking some music videos on YouTube and one day I just noticed in those related videos um, section on the right side of the screen that there's some nice um, blonde girl. I don't know why, but I clicked on that image and um, as you can tell I have this thing for blonde hair. My natural hair is very, very dark blonde. It's like a light brown hair, but I don't know. I just have to color it blonde and everyone who's blonde, they just get my attention. No, no, I mean, every hair is beautiful, but I have this thing for blonde. I mean, I even think that I would look better in dark hair, but I really have this thing for blonde. If I don't have blonde hair on my head, I just get so jealous about every blonde that passes by that for me it's just easier to color it blonde, you know, and, and just <laughs> calm down. So I clicked on this image and I discovered that this girl was showing how to create some hairstyle. I think it was some fishtail braid, don't really remember, but it was taking her like forever, she was really suffering, like, oh my god, you take a strand of hair and you, you actually have to keep it in your hand and then you actually have to cross it over to the other side and yes, 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 focus, 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 like, cross it over to the other side and after like 15 minutes she succeeded to create the fishtail braid and everyone was like, oh my god, the fishtail braid, now we'll know how to create it and then I felt like, oh my god, there is a beauty community on YouTube. There are girls who are sharing their experience and there are girls who are learning from them. I'm like, oh my God, that's so, so exciting. And, and I have so many things I could share. But I was shy, I'm always shy. I'm, I'm shy at the moment as well. I'm, I'm just trying not to be shy. So it took me like six months to realize that I have to start making videos. I just cannot resist this calling anymore. So I uploaded my first video on celebrity looks because that's what everyone was doing. So I thought, okay, let's start from celebrity looks. Please don't go check out those videos. Please not, 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 please don't, please don't. You promise? Okay. I might make them unlisted for a couple of days so that you don't go while you watch them. Oh my God. I was feeling so uncomfortable in front of the camera. It was just unbelievable. Unbelievable. But the hairstyles were good. Like, even now, four, four years later, I feel like the hairstyles were properly done. I'm I'm very self-critical person, but uh, I think they're done well. It's just me and the way I'm doing them, it's just something's wrong with it. But you guys, my viewers, you were so kind to me. Your feedback was so, so sweet and so kind and uh, you were encouraging me to keep on doing those videos, uh, to show you more hairstyles and uh, even though, you know, I felt uncomfortable, you know, showing my face to the world and all those sort of things, 
I kept on doing those videos and I really enjoyed the entire thing, the moment I would upload the video and the moment you would tell me, oh my god, thank you so much, I wanted to learn these hairstyles but I never, I never knew how to do it and you helped me and you know, it's always the best part uh, of this entire YouTube adventure for me because when I was a little girl, teenager, <laughs> not, not such a little girl anyway, my biggest dream was to learn how to style my hair but no one knew how to and those who knew they wouldn't share and ever since your feedback was my biggest inspiration another question that you often ask me is that where do i take ideas for my hairstyles do i create them do i you know see them somewhere and then recreate on my channel so the answer is that you guys you send me so many requests that i think in a lifetime of mine i wouldn't be able to recreate all those hairstyles it's just whew, hundreds thousands crazy but you really send me the message which hairstyles is that you want to see most so when i receive like 100 requests to recreate elsa's uh, voluminous braid i understand that i guess i should do it because so many people want to see it on my channel so i think 70 percent of the videos that i do are based on your requests so i decode hairstyles i see on celebrities or on cartoon characters or just some trendy looks that you see on Pinterest or Instagram and you just send me the photos of these girls. Usually it's quite easy for me to see how this hairstyle is done and to show it to you in one of my videos. Basically, some hairstyles I do not show you and that's my choice because even if I manage to recreate a certain crazy hairstyle on my hair, I want the majority of my subscribers to be also able to recreate it. So when I choose the hairstyles for my future tutorials, I always try to make them quick and easy so that everyone can do them. Of course, some of you remain skeptical. You're like, try for like one minute and say, oh my God, it doesn't work. Uh, um, you're the magician, but me, no, my hairstyling skills suck. I will never be able to do this. You're just lazy and impatience, you have to sit down and give yourself time to master a hairstyling technique. Hairstyling is not difficult, but it still requires some time for you to spend on developing and mastering certain skills, even grabbing a strand of hair, you know, even this can be challenging when you have to keep four strands of hair in your hands. The following question that you ask me is, how did my channel get so big? Is it big? Okay, let's say it's big. So, I don't know. For the first year, nothing was really going on. I was making videos, but uh, I was getting hardly any views, maybe one, two subscribers per day on a good day. And I was just uh, making tutorials because those people who were watching them, who were supporting me, were motivating me to keep on doing them. So I think it was just my patience and the consistent quality of my videos. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you because I'm always, always, always determined, my number one priority is to make quality videos. So even though at first uh, I felt very uncomfortable like in front of camera, all those sort of things, I still would never, never upload a tutorial if I wasn't happy, 100% happy with the hairstyle. So I could have been unhappy with myself, but I was happy with the hairstyle. My other priority was to make it in a way that uh, I don't bore you to death. So at first my video were a bit uh, too long, but then um, judging by your feedback, I realized that I have to speed them up a little bit. So I started improving the presentation of my videos. Now they last only like two, three minutes because I realized that you don't come here to watch me braid, uh, you know, the entire head uh, all over in real time. But yeah, I do a lot of editing and I try to stick straight to the point. So today's video is clearly slightly different. I'm telling you my entire hair story since you asked me to. But when I do my hair tutorials, I do not advertise my tutorial for like two minutes. That you can wear it here and here and here and here and here and here. And it's so great and amazing and fabulous and fantastic and flattering. You know, that's what I don't like about... Is it right to say? I mean, I don't like watching tutorials where people self-praise for like half of the tutorial. I, I just don't like it. <laughs> so basically, if I had to describe the strategy of um, my channel growth in one word, it would be 
my audience or audience basically it's you guys because i'm always 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 listening to your suggestions and try to create the exact kind of videos that you guys like and um, i think the next thing i could talk about is haters because yes many of you ask me also how do i deal with the haters and to tell you the truth i do not have many haters and actually never had because you start getting haters when you start expressing opinions there are not many haters to hate just on a hairstyle plus I always make sure I make nice hair tutorials. And the thing about haters is that even when they come with their horrible, mean, nasty, spiteful comments, they hurt you only once. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but when someone tells me something I never heard before, like some horrible thing, I'm like, oh, how can someone be so nasty? It shouldn't exist, you know, like, oh my God, this is really terrible. But then I'm like, okay, it's your opinion. It doesn't define me, just, your mentality so basically that's the first type of haters you know like the haters that are gonna hate and then there's a second type of haters which are not real haters they're just tactless people with some gaps in education I don't know how to call them because they can tell you something that sounds really really bad but once you get over it you start realizing that the idea behind this tactless comment if you would translate it into your much more a nice thing to say it's actually reasonable so I think after four years of making videos on YouTube I actually learned to filter out you know the haters that are gonna hate from haters which are not real haters and actually use the comments and remarks from the second ones to improve my channel so if you wanna send me some comments <laughs> don't hesitate I actually love receiving all sorts of suggestions even if it's uh, critical I always read your comments uh, it's not always that I can do exactly everything you want me to do but uh, I always always monitor the general moods of my viewers and try to create videos which most of you would enjoy so tell me everything you think about my channel with all that said I would like to thank you thank you thank you so much for all your support I know that some of you have been watching my videos for four years uh, from the very beginning oh my god it's like making me so happy to think about such of you and of course the new subscribers I love you just as much as I told you I love reading your comments it's the best part of being a youtuber you know receiving your feedback and being inspired to create more videos so anything you want to tell me please let me know in the comments down below as usual I thank you very much for watching and I see you in my next video bye